Hello and welcome to Just Event Online Weekend News. I am Fatima Siriki for the news headlines. Civil service must change reputation of redundancy and efficiency, Shatima says. 17.5 million poor Nigerians to benefit from World Bank Mini Grid project. Elon South rejoices as Honorable Mariam Aladi empowers 500 widows with food items, cash, sewing machines, others. Sultan urges Nigerians to change attitude, be patriotic. Now that moves against sales of measured me, cereals, others in open market. Nigeria records 1,170 Lassa fever cases, 200 deaths in 11 months. NCDC confirms dengue fever outbreak in Sokoto 2024 AFCON. Cote d'Ivoire to boost cooperation with Nigeria. Now, the news in details. The Vice President, Kashim Satima, has said the civil service must walk away from its reputation of redundancy and inefficiency. Shatima, who also stressed the need to reposition the civil service, the cry the changes in leadership dynamics across the board. The World Bank said it had approved the Nigeria Distributed Access to Renewable Energy Scale-Up Project, which is financed by an International Development Association credit of $750 million. The World Bank Country Director for Nigeria noted that the funds are for expanding clean energy-based access in Nigeria to build standalone solar and mini grids. On an heartwarming display of generosity, Honorable Yusuf Mariam Aladi, representing E. Lawrence South and the Quara State House of Assembly, has empowered over 500 widows from our constituency. The event, held on Sunday, saw artisans receiving sewing machines, while the widows were gifted food items and a sum of 5,000 naira each. Explaining the motive behind the event, Honorable Aladi stated that it aimed to provide relief from the current food inflation plug in the country and also support the commendable work of Governor Abiraman Abirazak. The event resonated with the Ilori South community as Honorable Aladi assured our constituent to continue prioritizing their well-being and delivering the benefits of democracy through effective representation. She expressed her heartfelt gratitude for the unwavering support and loyalty towards her, Governor Abdurazak, and the APC as a whole. While flagging of the empowerment, Kwara Chief of Staff, Prince Abakadri Mahe said, Honorable Aladi's kind gesture has undoubtedly brought a ray of hope to many in Ilori South stressing that the distribution of food, cash, and sewing machines will not only alleviate the immediate burdens of food inflation, but also equip artisans with tools to pursue sustainable livelihoods. On this part, Kwara State House of Assembly Speaker, Right Honorable Yakubu Danladi said, the presence of everyone at the event underscored the significance of Aladi's initiative and its potential impact on the lives of underprivileged individuals in the Lauren South. He therefore encouraged her to continue a good deed and enjoy others who are yet to benefit from the empowerment to be rest assured that it will reach their turn. The Sultan of Sokoto, His Eminence, Muhammad Sahad Abubakar, has called on Nigerians at all levels to change their attitude, especially on patriotism to the country for national development. He urged Nigerians to put the interest of the country first ahead of the state of origin. The National Agency for Food and Drug Administration and Control said it would arrest importers and sellers of unbranded cereals and other food items of industrial sizes in the open market. The agency expressed strong disapproval 
stating that some manufacturers and their suppliers have been discovered engaging in the importation of approved bulk food items, which subsequently make their way into open markets. The Nigeria Center for Disease Control and Prevention has said no fewer than 8,542 suspected cases, 1,170 confirmed cases, and 200 deaths have been recorded from Lassa fever in Nigeria this year. The confirmed cases were recorded from 28 states and 140 local government areas in the country. The Nigeria Center for Disease Control and Prevention has confirmed the outbreak of dengue fever in Sokoto State. The NSCDC in a statement posted on its website noted that the outbreak was detected in November 2023. It disclosed that so far, 71 suspected cases, 13 confirmed cases, and zero deaths have been reported on the stage from the three local government areas. The last on the news is sports. The ambassador of Cote d'Ivoire to Nigeria has said that the 2024 African Cup of Nations will create relevant avenue for his country to further strengthen cooperation with Nigeria. He stated this in an interview with newsmen on Sunday in Abuja, sequel to the country's preparation to host the Afghan tournament from January 14 to February 13, 2024. Welcome to the end of the news. Here's the recap of the story. Civil service must change reputation of redundancy and efficiency, Shatima says. 17.5 million poor Nigerians to benefit from World Bank mini grid project. Ilori South rejoices as Honorable Mariam Aladi empowers 500 widows with food items, cash, semi machines, others. Sultan urges Nigerians to change attitude with Petrotsuk. Now that moves against sales of measured mix, cereals, others in open market. Nigeria records 1,170 Lassa fever cases, 200 deaths in 11 months. NCDC confirmed dengue fever outbreak in Sokoto, Afghan 2024. Code Vat to boost cooperation with Nigeria. Thank you for watching Just Events Online Weekend News. Don't think you can always win but believe you can't lose. For more news, visit www.justevents.online.com and to read more updates, follow us on our social media platforms with the tap Just Events Online. You can also send us an email on justeventsonline at gmail.com. I am Fatima Sirki. Do have a good night.